Hey boys, what's up? Today I'm creating my new tutorial, second tutorial on how to create realistic hair renders. Uh, I've struggled to create nice hair and realistic hair using Cinema 4D and Octane. So I'm just gonna share my technique. I'm a random dude, no specific knowledge. I'm not an expert in Cinema 4D, but I've learned some, some few things that I wanna share with the community. So I've used it, this technique in some of my renders on my Instagram, uh, in some videos I made from clients. You can see it here on this Nike logo, which is not for Nike. It's made by me just for my just just for fun. So black and white on this funny dancing lad, abstract stuff here, and also on these furry hairy balls in some dirty puddles in the street. So as you can see, it's quite realistic, uh, organic. To me, it looks good. So I'm just gonna share this technique here. Um, let's get into it. So I'm gonna go into Octane, Live Viewer. Um, I'm gonna bring in an HDRI. I'm gonna change the direct lighting to path tracing. I'm gonna go in the render settings, make this Instagram friendly 180, 1350 Octane render, and we can get it started. Bring in a camera too, sorry coordinates zero out everything here and boom you're in the sphere get back a little bit and this is a good start select the sphere add the hair simulate hair object add hair very long very crazy what the heck I'm gonna go in there make it way shorter let's put three for now that looks good we're gonna go in the hair material. What we want to do here. I have a pre-made setup, so don't blame me for that. I've tweaked, played with it. So other people's hair material, the settings of their hair material. And this is my conclusion, how it should look to look good. So I'm gonna remove the specular. I'm gonna make the color red, although it's useless because we're gonna add another shader hair hair color on top of that with a mixed material but just so we can see the hair we are tweaking and once we do some tweaks in the settings it appears and we can see it so thickness the root the tip the root is the base like the base that sticks to your head and the tip is the is the end of the hair so one centimeter seems quite big this depends on your object too so if the object the scale of the object and the overall scene is, is small you have to make very small uh, hair and if the scene is very big then you get it right so 0.14 and the tip way smaller 0.06 variation always make it look natural realistic and as you can see we can't see the big difference here so I'm gonna bring that down the curve and you can see now it kind of fade out so it gets thinner and thinner now what I'm gonna do is play with the length. So here I'm gonna set it to 80%, not 800, but 80%, and we want some variation. Always, always. Scale, I'm gonna make that, let's keep it as default, sorry. I'm gonna go in density, density as default too. I'm gonna clump the hair, clumping the hair means bringing groups of hairs together. You'll see how it looks once we hit render. So clump, I'm gonna bring that to 20, not 200. Clump, 100%, well let's say 90. Radius 80, make the hair clumps larger, gathering more hair. Um, twist a little bit, why not? 20% variation, always let's put 60. And let's keep it as it is I'm just gonna tick off the keep length yep then what we want to do is go into the band and tick it I'm gonna increase the band yep I'm gonna increase the variation you get it now and here too here we go curl a little bit we like those curls so I'm gonna go 80 degrees won't change much but still I'm gonna go 60% in the variation and that's it 
you have your hair setup settings are how they should be so now let's just hit render to see what happens oh forgot to add the HDRI so I'm gonna go here and add my go to HDRI which is a free one Canada Montreal bathroom I don't know what I'm gonna put that in and this HDRI you can get it on Maxime Moreau's website CG artist from Canada which has a free pack and to be honest I've used this HDRI in most of my scenes so here it is I'm just gonna put a background plus Z for the orientation bring that back a little bit and this should be fine yep so very red not very nice but it's okay we'll play with it so next thing I want to do is our is add some color nice color on top of that so we don't want that red so what I'm gonna do now is go an octane object create materials create mix material let's open that node editor remove the flow texture I don't need it okay two materials material one material two material one will be a glossy one we want that to be pink intense pink Barbie pink I would say so yeah that looks good here we want some light pink we want some contrast in the color of the hair we don't we, we don't want just one plain color we want some to, 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 to we want to create some volume to create some contrasty colors that make it stand out and make it look nicer so that's an approach let's put some light pink in there and to have these contrasted dots appear what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add turbulence in the amount so let me bring it in here we go turbulence and I'm gonna add some offset and you can see this gets interesting yep this seems good to me I believe let's keep it like that for now like that this still is a bit too dark not light light enough so I'm gonna bring that down a little bit and I'm gonna add some transmission to make it faded a bit to make it look faded washed a little bit a bit more maybe yeah I like that I like that that looks good let's see what happens if I bring that here I'm gonna hit render let's hope it looks nice Oosh. okay why not uh, you can see some white spots like some of you might have so I'm just gonna increase the hair count which is quite important to make hair renders look good so 550k might seem a lot but it's not I've had some scenes with 1 million hair uh, rendered so I'm just gonna go 200k for now see what happens it's a small small sphere small scene scale is not that big so this should be more than enough and I like that the only thing I don't like is that the turbulence the dark spots are too big I'm gonna make those a little bit smaller if I can and this is already better to me I like that man okay keep it as it is now I have a next tip which makes my scene look better in my opinion I'm gonna enable the comparison tool keep it as it is I'm gonna pause this side note if you make tweaks to your hair pause your render pause the renderer because it's heavy makes stuff crash be careful next thing is I'm gonna go and simulate hair tools brush selecting the hair object decrease the size of the, the the brush the circle 60 that should be fine maybe a little bit less yeah okay and what I want to do now is add some variation not make it look so linear so of course we did settings in the hair material but now we want to do it on the hair itself too so just one quick note you should be careful look if I'm do this you can see the hair moving around 
one thing that's very important and you should be careful about is when using the brush tool if i bring the hair into the sphere it disappears it goes behind the sphere and this will make a white line which we don't want we want the the hair to appear on the whole sphere we don't want white spots so what i'm gonna do is be kind of careful and bring that right up down a little bit create some variation you want to create some craziness but not too much rotate a little bit go here yep see i'm just creating stupid variation here and here here and there same for here same for the top that's what we're looking for man if you feel like the hair is going into the sphere make sure you hit ctrl z one or two times and it should be fine down a little bit that should be good enough yep man yep and basically to me this is the main tip to make this the, the scene look good um, if you're not happy with it I'll show you how you do it just to, to reset this whole brushing stuff so let's see what this gives us if I hit render okay now we have some craziness much more organic natural this is quite calm and how do we say nicely brushed Titan here you have some craziness which I personally like you might like this one who knows who cares you choose what you want now i've added the hdri but i haven't tweaked it so i'm just gonna go on the side of the sphere and i want the light to come from that side too it's almost the case which is good um rotate a little bit maybe yep make this come from the top maybe let's see increase that a little bit maybe okay not too bad man not too bad like that maybe a little bit more on the side i don't know i'm just trying out what looks good and this is good really changing the hgri is something you should do you should play with the lightning which might change the scene the total look of the hair so have it a try give it a try and you'll tell me so see we see a big difference here already what I'm gonna do now is maybe add another light octane light I'm gonna resize it a little bit make it like that. <clears throat> make it like that rotate the light so that it comes from the top just to see how it looks bring that up that might be too strong bring that value down a little bit and here you go this doesn't look bad so you have light coming from this side with the HDRI and light coming from the top too what you could do is duplicate this light remove one bring it here rotate again let's see what this gives us now I'm just playing around now increase maybe a little bit in that case and yeah this looks good to me man I don't know what you think so this is just a sphere with some hair on it nothing too crazy but you have your asset you have your setup you, you can use that in any scene now and I've made it pink you can make it look like a stuffed toy more like a teddy bear I can show you what I had here um, here you go have a look see that looks different so that's what you get uh, this looks good to me I don't know what you think let me save this so here you go now what I can show you is the AK-47 scene 
what I did in that scene is having a background I have my AK-47 what I did is adding the hair in specific areas of the AK so I went into the polygon mode selected these polygons once they're selected you can store the selection by going into select store selection it appears on that triangle when, once you double click it once you have this selection you're going to simulate her object add hair and it will automatically add it on the selection so now I've added it already and you can see I went crazy with the hair whoop I went crazy with the hair I've brushed it made it go in different directions play with it many times I felt that there was more hair on this side on this area so I've added more in the back as you can see and now it looks good you should note that depending on the asset you're using to add hair on depending on the polygon density the hair might be my more important where there is more polygons so make sure you add hair where missing bits are or use the remesher tool with the new cinema 4d so let's hit render and see what happens now hitting render that's what i get so you can see fluffy stuffed toy look looking like ak-47 uh, the contrast between the two shades of beige or orange is not that strong but to me it looked realistic note that when you bring that into a photo editor uh, lightroom or vsco or the one you're using this looks banger so you have this version you also have the one i made um here more contrast so that is it that's the that's the end of the tutorial i hope you learned something i hope this technique can be of use uh, in some of your renders uh, do let me know if you enjoyed the tutorial do let me know if you have any comments if you have any questions i would be more than happy to answer them uh, i need to know guys if you enjoy that so i can continue creating more tutorials so subscribe to the channel subscribe to instagram let me know and see you to the next one